All right, and this is just a quick tour of the boat. So there's some stairs to get up to the helm. There, uh, it's, it's a ladder, but it's a little bit more angled, so it's easier to climb. Not straight up like a ladder, a little bit closer to stairs. There's the helm. Nothing too fancy up there. Down below. I've put these covers on the uh, counters because they're a pinkish color. You'll see in the bathroom the color of the counters there. These are just a cheap stick on just to kind of break up the bright colors. Has the original curtains and everything on the windows. This is the back seat. Um, it's kind of like a little couch. I usually just keep a blanket on it to, uh, to hide the uh, very dated colors of it. Uh, the back flips out. Here, just bear with me and I'll, I'll fold this out for you. Here's the bed folded out. So the, uh, the backrest flips up and has little latches that hold it out of the way. And then the mattress folds flat and it's at ground level. The backrest is dangling right now. When the seat is in the uh, seat position, this backrest will latch into that little thing there. But there is a fair bit of storage in behind where you can store stuff. There is a closet here. Um, hang up shirts and whatever you want to hang up. Uh, has a little rack for socks and such. Decent storage up here. Enough to fit a couple pillows and some comforters. Smaller storage cubby here for books and such. I've actually removed the curtain at the back and I've put this uh, roll up blind on. Just blocks out a little bit more of the sunlight uh, if you do want to sleep in after having a couple beverages because it, this bed is directly under this large window. In here, we have a beautifully colored uh, curtain to close this off. I'll just pull this out. So this curtain pulls across to give you complete privacy. You can also open it up part way. So you have access out, but the back little aft cabin has, uh, has its own little closed off area. And then when you're finished, it just tucks away into this little closet. Easier with two hands and it's uh, tucked away. In here is the bathroom. So that's why I covered up these counters with that stick on stuff. It's not the greatest, but uh, it was just a, a quick and easy solution instead of tearing out all the, uh, the cabinets and resurfacing these, just break up a little bit of this color so you don't see so much when you walk into the boat. Uh, there's not much to see in here. Uh, there's a little toilet, shower heads up here. I've never used the shower on here. It just simply runs off of the uh, the taps here. There's a little valve to switch it over. Lots of storage in here. You have your cupboards. That's not a cupboard. Little cupboard for toilet paper. Another little cupboard for more toilet paper. More toilet paper. Whatever you want. You can have so much toilet paper in here. This is the, uh, the uh, little dinette. So there's a table that goes in here. I guess I could put that table in. Give me a second. All right, so here's the table in place. So this table actually slides from side to side to allow you access to either side. Um, and this goes down flat into a bed. The cushions for the bed are up here. I just keep them up in the V-berth. They actually do fit in this little uh, storage area that I'd shown you earlier. And uh, yeah, so that's folds down into a bed. Comes with a flat screen TV that's wall mounted over here. Um, air conditioning controls, the AC does work, but the fan needs to be plugged directly into the, uh, the outlet. It was wired up by the previous owner because I believe there was an issue with the fan thermostat dial, but you can still run the, uh, the AC when you're on shore power and it works beautifully. This is the bed up in the V-berth. Um, there is a little hatch up out into the world there. Uh, anchor storage up front. There are lots of mirrors that actually add a little bit of depth to the boat and make it seem a little bit bigger than it is. Um, as I mentioned, yeah, this turns down into another bed. So you have one bed here, one bed here, and another bed here. 
Uh, this is the little kitchenette. A small uh, refrigerator. Good enough for a weekend. Lots of storage. This one's very narrow because of the stove. But you can fit saran wrap and stuff in there. A couple uh, drawers. Storage for larger items. Liquor. This is actually your breaker panel here. There's shelves here. There's a shelf along here. I personally don't use a microwave. The boat had a microwave and I replaced it with this oven. Decent sized deep sink for washing your dishes. And the boat has an electric and alcohol stove that uh, I don't use the alcohol because I've heard nothing but horror stories. The electric works okay, but I just prefer to use one of these cooktops and this one fits directly over top and uh, it does come with the boat. Lots of storage for your spice rack, stuff I forgot to clean out. Ample storage above here for your plates. And th this storage just keeps going on. There's more storage there, more storage up here. And these, some of these have the little hinge thing just needs a push. Um, and yeah, these are actually shelves here. There is speakers in the boat. One speaker up there, another speaker here, and there's two speakers up on the uh, up at the helm. And I've also installed ooh, speakers that are rear facing, so you can hear the music while you're out swimming. Um, yeah, and this is just a uh, curtain separating this. So if you do want to pull that out open but there's no real need to curtains at the side open there are oh i put this table in so i can't get up there there are little windows up in the v berth here uh they don't open none of the windows on the side do open just the blinds open uh, more storage here oh there is another little cubby here with a spot for hanging stuff and i think that pretty much does it for the interior of the boat i don't know if i mentioned this up here is the uh the anchor rope uh, storage. Um, yeah, so I'll just do a quick little spin around here. So you can see everything, get a good idea of where everything is. And then we're looping back to the bathroom. There is a fan for the bathroom. Um, holding tank underneath. And there's another holding tank underneath here in this general area. So that pretty much sums it up. Thanks. Whee.